And just like that, another manual disco. I hope Lost Cause Ranch is proud. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to uh, another Addicted Motors Land Rover special. Well, maybe, we'll see. It's not guaranteed yet. So this might be a real video, it might not be a real video. Uh, we're gonna go look at a cheap, five-speed 1995 um, Land Rover Discovery. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. We uh, do a little bit of Range Rover rescue every once in a while, as long as the filming of various other interesting vehicles and I make bad decisions. So it's just kind of a, one of those things that's not really here nor there. But again, we're gonna go check out this, uh, I don't wanna buy it. I'm honestly, I'm hoping we get there and it's terrible. And I don't end up buying it because I just bought the supercharged, but we'll see. This never works out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump in the uh, the uh, LR3 and uh, head across town to hopefully not buy a Land Rover. Please make this a boring video. I don't have room for more stupid Land Rovers. I don't. What am I doing? All right, here's here's where we're at with it. We just talked to the owner. Uh, just popped in a quick clip of clip of his sweet Unimog. Guy's got a lot of rovers in there, blah, 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 you know, same type of thing. Um, truck looks good, you know, we're dripping stuff. It shifts, it moves, you know, it's got, it's got AC. It's not bad. It's got sealed up sunroofs. I mean, again, this is a rover's guy, rover. He's fixed the floors. It's not completely rusted. It's, it's usable, kind of exactly how we see it. Leaks a little transmission fluid, uh, good tires on her. All the right stickers, you know. You can't really hate it for the money. Yeah, hell, that works. It's a seven-seater. Uh, a little crusty. A little crusty, but you know, that's that's how the game is played. So we'll see. I don't know. But yeah, interior's decent. It's fine. Like again, this, this is there, there's not a lot of these manual trucks that weren't kind of beat to hell as trail trucks. They were all forgotten, unloved, and then they became interesting again, and now they're kind of back, but not really. So it's kind of a tough call to say, you know, yes or no, 100% based off of that. And just like that, another manual disco. I hope Lost Cause Ranch is proud. <laughs> Is it uh, overheating already? Oh yeah, dude, she's boiling over. Follow me. Uh, no, I was just gonna. I'm gonna stop at 7-Eleven get a get a drink and a snack real quick. Let's do it. There she is. She even got half the tank of fuel in her. Um, yeah. No, no, no. I'm I'm excited. It's uh, it's rough, but in the right kind of way. It's trail truck rough, which is good, especially because it's not completely rusted out and it's white. You can't hate a white disco. I mean, look at that thing. Just wonderful. <laughs> I think Tyler's falling in love with it too. Ooh. Five speed on five speed action. Probably something you'll never see ever again. I don't really know which one runs better either. All right, so here she is again. So here's the specs on it. I didn't really go over anything yet. Uh, 1995 uh, D1 five speed disco, um, 218 or 212,000 miles, so lots of mileage. Enthusiast owns, been all up and down, it's towed, it's done everything, um, runs and drives, very leaky, good tires, a little bit of rust in the rear, kind of partial shelf area, a little rust under the uh, driver's floorboards, been uh, 
been repaired, uh, home repair, not a professional repair, but that's okay. Not very rusty at all underneath, but definitely a little leaky. She got some leakies. A couple little leakies over here and there. Um, doesn't overheat yet. That's hot day. AC works. All windows but one work. Uh, you've got manual, manual seats. Um, decent interior curled dash. Seven seater SC7 with rear AC. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, and that's really it as far as just the quick once over. I don't really know what else to kind of go into, you know, for those disco guys. We've got the roof racks removed and sealed. We've got the, uh, uh, the moon roofs removed and sealed. And yeah, I mean, these awesome federal no brand tires, uh, seat covers. I mean, it's just a cool old road. And we have two manual that's a 96 that's a 95 so it's a 3.9 that's a four liter sitting right next to each other i mean it's a it's a good day you know unfortunately i had to pay a little money for it uh it was more than a thousand dollars which is a bummer again hey listen all rovers are worth a thousand dollars but sometimes you have to pay a couple dollars more so you know not really the end of the deal end of the, whoa no, 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 not really the end of the world but hey i'm gonna take this home we're gonna clean it up a little bit and uh and see how it looks Took some of the stickers off too. All right, so here's probably gonna be a better. I'll let Tyler drive for the ride home here. Uh, I think it's straight pipes. I'm not sure if there's cats or not. Uh, um, it sounds good. I saw one kind of large straight pipe in the back, but that's it. AC is is working. Not super cold. Again, it's probably 96 degrees right now, so can't be too mad about that either way. I've never had a rover that had a working AC, so. Uh, center diff lock. I forget what is this? A M280 or there's, a, there's something for it. Uh, transfer, transfer case. case LT yeah. LT yeah, that was close. Makes good noises. Kind of crusty headliner and whatnot, but hey, I mean this was a a sub five thousand dollar truck. Let's just say that. I don't hate this at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm, in, I'm impressed with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a trail truck, but it's a it's a seven seater, it makes good noises. It has a couple floors in it, so. Yeah. It drives nicely. I mean, it's it's very it's very truck-like, uh, which I I enjoy. Some people don't enjoy that, but it's, which, it's a it's a tall shifter it's kind of clunky and mechanical yeah very, it's a very engaging truck like it's a modern series truck it, yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah it's a, it's like all the all the good things about a modern rover and all yeah. the good things about a classic rover it's got that off on clutch there's no there's no feathering it's either on or off at least with this one it's been it's been beat on a little bit oh yeah but it grabs doesn't slip you know no no it's fine it's just weird. Yeah, right. It's uh, just just like anything. It's it's just like a, once you learn how to drive around it, you learn how to drive the the field clutch. You learn that sometimes it wants to go into second instead of fourth. <laughs> or the lack of <laughs> brakes. Yeah. yeah. The crunchy brakes. You know, it's it's an experience. We should uh, we should test the low range too. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, 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 not for you, no. All right, so we're back in the house, made it back. No check engine light, 213,000 miles. Just want to clarify that, manual transmission. I don't, there's downsides. I know there's downsides, like the, the leaks and the drips and stuff, but like, this is, this isn't terrible. All right, now that we got the power barn open, we'll check out what we got going on in here. Um, you know, the, it doesn't overheat, but like the previous owner said, um, it is gurgling a little bit from this reservoir coolant expansion tank, whatever you want to call it. And it's, um, yeah, it's making some noise, but it's okay. It, again, not overheating, so that's good. Look how dry that 3.9 is. It's just like my 3.9 in my 89. I mean, that's 
pretty, pretty clean, at least in the valve gases and whatnot. I'm sure you can, you know, benefit from cleaning the MAF sensor and all that fun stuff. But, you know, as it sits right now, we'll check that. Let this cool down. We'll check the fluids. Um, we'll check the air filter and all that, see how terrible it looks. Um, and then, uh, yeah, again, I'm trying to show you guys as much of the truck right now as it sits. Um, before I start cleaning and getting into it. But you know, I might just go ahead and hose it down, clean it off, and then uh, let this, you know, cool down a little bit before, uh, before I go diving in. So check back in a second. Man, I I love this stuff. I can't I can't believe I found another manual D1 that's decent in Richmond. I mean, this is just there's there's another one for sale. There's there's four manual D1s for sale in Richmond right now. I, this one was just the cheapest. So let's uh let's go ahead and uh, check on the little fluids. Except for that one, that one's probably hot. Um, so let's dive in here real quick. Let me grab my other camera. All right, so let's check the fluids. This is uh, the second day because none of my footage from yesterday actually saved, so cool. <laughs> fluids good in the coolant. Interesting. No, I'm too tight. I'm saying that that sometimes bubbles over a little bit. Oil, yeah, nice oil. I think the oil has like it's recently changed it's another couple thousand miles on it according to uh according to the owner now one thing i don't know is where the transmission fluid dipstick is for a 3.9 for the manual because i've never checked it before um i'll do some figure that out but the clutch fluid looks good brake fluid looks good i checked the air filter and actually it looked fairly clean that was uh, so yeah, power steering fluid's good. I was kind of hoping that was low because of the drip that we have in the front. So everything else, these old school engine oil caps. Here's your new alternator that we put on. Um, yeah, so everything looks fine except for the transmission fluid, which I'll have to figure out <laughs> where that where that dipstick is if there is one. Interesting. So yeah, again, I lost that footage, but it's okay. Well, uh, we got it back here. But again, pretty clean engine bay. Just have you know some minor drips and you know old rover stuff to uh, to deal with at the at the moment. And one more, one more sticker to remove. <sighs> got way cheaper. And so that's it for now. Honestly, I don't really have anything else to really do to this at the moment. Oh, I didn't notice. Let's get the little brackets in there for your uh, your front fog lights. So yeah, there we have it. Uh, you know, a fairly inexpensive, another manual, high mileage, over 200,000 miles D1 with a 3.9 uh, and mud tires and a decent interior and an AC that kind of works. I mean, this is a this is a decent little buy. Honestly, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, like I think I mentioned before, this one, I don't know what we want to do with it, you know? I really do want to drive it around, bring it to the cabin, like I have with a bunch of the other vehicles. Um, so we don't really have plans yet, but I'm assuming it will be for sale. So if you're actually, if you're honestly interested in it, uh, shoot me a message on uh, YouTube or Instagram addict, at Addicted Motors or at my email, addicted.motors us at gmail.com and we can start a conversation see where it goes but i don't think i'm in a super hurry to let it go because it actually seems to be a pretty decent truck um you know it's, it's all it's all there and a seven seater ac truck at that only i mentioned that 
you know, that kind of makes a, a bit of a difference. You know, you kind of forget that these were, uh, you know, fairly high-end uh, trucks at the time. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited about this. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to drive around this week, so we'll see. I still have to get some parts from the previous owner. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a fun little rig. This thing's built right. You know, it's got uh, a little lift on it. Old man emu, I think. Um, so we're, you know, this thing's uh, this thing should be a little beast, especially with that uh, R or L two eighty locking transfer case. Blah blah blah. It's the it's the real deal. So uh, yeah, stick around. Hey, please subscribe, comment, do that whole thing. If you like seeing me drag these turds out of the woods and out from people's houses and whatnot, you know, hey, this is why I'm here. It's all, <laughs> it only impacts me financially. So if you want to keep seeing me do that, like, subscribe, do that whole thing. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you. See you on the next update on it.